there everybody this is Amy I appreciate you stopping by my channel today I'm going to show you another floral design very simple to be painted on a glass bottle I love glass bottle art so I hope that you do as well today I am going to be using a multiple of different flat brushes these are all plaid one stroke brushes these are number 12s, number 8, number 10, and then my favorite fine line brush, which is a nail brush by Westonia. Probably should invest in a new one because I use this one so much. Anyways, the colors I'm using today are lime green, magenta, coffee latte, Autumn Leaves, Burnt Umber, Thicket Green, and Moon Yellow. Variety of multi-surface paints. I think they're actually, this group is all multi-surface. All of them are folk art. I typically do at least the majority of the multi-surface, but sometimes I can't get the colors I need in the multi-surface, so I'm still using the folk art enamels as well. Alright, let's get started. I'm going to be using a flat brush to make the floral design. I am just going to load it into the magenta, just a solid color load, and begin. So I'm just basically pressing the brushes down, kind of pulling them, doing the same thing over here. I can turn it on the side and just do more of like the chisel type pull. Then I'm going to go back over and I can actually hit this with a heat gun or hair dryer first if I wish, but I'm just going to go over it right now for the purpose of the video and just put it on top of the pink. And this is the autumn leaf, so you're going to be seeing a little bit of the pink as well as the autumn leaves. And then I'm going, I think I'm going to lean this direction with it because I, on my sample I did it, well, I probably should probably do it the same direction, huh? Alright, so let's go this way. I'm going to roll it just a tad and then bring it down, pull it. And because I didn't clean on my brush, it does have some of the autumn leaf in it, which is fine. It's good. And again, this is just meant to be very simple, very, very simple, as are my majority of my designs, or all of them, really, because I want to encourage people to paint. And if you're looking for a new hobby, painting is definitely relaxing. If you're doing some doodle art in addition to that, that can even be more relaxing. And I'd like to get into more of that here on my channel. I don't know if any of you are feeling this or not, but I'll tell you, with being, you know, with this virus and all, I just feel really, really, really lazy, and I have no idea why. Just very, whoops, let me go this way. Just wanted a little bit different of a uh, difference of color. So I'm making, again, very simple. It's just going to have these few few buds. I'm going to take the number 10, put it into my green, so I'm actually doing the thicket, the lime green, putting a little bit of the, the burnt umber, because I really do like to have more of an olive look to my greens. Just, just saying. I mean, it's not something you have to have, but I definitely like it. So I'm just going to go around my plants, or plants, around my flowers. I don't know why I said plants, but, and then do my little, my little poles of green. A little bit of brown, and I'm just smushing them around. To connect the flowers to their stems, I am going to do just a little swoop like that. And it's just a mixture of colors. 
and just lightly swoop in it. I'm going to just keep re reloading too. Now on this one, I'm going to do, I kind of like to do it where I have a slight, like right here is where it was kind of open. I mean, I could actually do it this direction too. And pull it up. And it doesn't matter if it's bigger than the other one. Because I could actually be doing it based upon the opening too, if there was an opening there. I'm just doing a little more there. So it's okay that that one's bigger than the other. If you want them the same size, by all means, make them the same size. Then I'm going to take my smaller, my number 8 flat brush, dip it into the greens just like I was doing on the part that connects to the flower. And I'm going to just do a slight pull here, kind of a pull here, here, and then pull it down. Hopefully you can see that. And then I'm going to do this one and pull it over. I always like these to kind of be touching, going over, not just straight down beside each other, if you get the gist. And like I said, this one, I can just pull it down like that. If you want, you can actually work these into it and not just have a stem connecting to it. You can go like this and pull it into these to make it a little thicker connection at the top if you want, or you can just leave it like that. However you want to do it. Up to you, and either way is fine. Alright, so I'm going to clean this off just a smidge. Put it back into the colors. Hit the brown. And then just do some more pulling. I'm just going to do some pulling down and into the vines, just kind of over here, if you can see it. I'm trying to do smaller little, little bits here. I'm going to turn it so it has a little bit of lighter green on it. And do it again. They don't have to be attached, or they can be. And you can come down in here just making just some more, I don't know, pulls. They don't necessarily have to make sense. Just gives it gives it some more interest. And I want to make some smaller ones because that one ended up being a little big. Just make some small ones if you can. If you feel like you need to turn it to get more of the, the lighter color showing, that's fine too. You know, however you want to do it, just to give it interest, fill it in, and then you can come over here and you could shoot for a bigger brush if you want. I don't really, it doesn't matter to me, but I'm just going to do a little pull like that. Hopefully you're seeing it all. If you want to pull a little stem into it, you can. And then maybe come here and do something similar. Maybe even have a pole going up from up from the actual bottom stems themselves. Like this to fill it in a little bit. Just so cute. I mean it's just not meant to be anything more than just very simple. As I mentioned, you can even come in here and do some wiggle leaves, dip it up like that. Let's see how this works. Leave a little bit of that showing and then come back. And then you can dip it into the darker color if you want to make it like there's a stem going through it. Perfect. If you want to leave that out, you more than certainly can. You want to put some more in there. I pulled in some of the pink. 
which is typical. Like I said, if you if you're someone, I don't know why I say it all the time, but if you're someone who doesn't like for the other colors to come in that are possibly still wet, because you're basically you're doing wet on wet, then dry it. Give it some dry time. That's all you really need to do. And I'm going to keep that like that, but I do think I want to put another one out here. And I'm going to do the lighter on it, on the outside part. And then I can come down here and just turn it. Let's do the lighter on here again. Go back up here, do the lighter on it, turn it, and then just pull it through like that. Very simple, very easy. And then when you come up here, if you want to do maybe even a, just more of a straight little leaf here, you can do that. I like to have the variety of colors in it, and it's fine. You know, you don't have to put a whole lot of leaves in here. You can do a few. Just kind of judge it, because it's not identical to my to my sample by any means. My samples that I do are just basically to give me an idea of the design I'm looking for or trying to achieve. And last but not least, well, no, back it up. I do need this. I forgot one brush because I thought I didn't need it, but this is the number one liner by Plaid. And basically what I'm using on it is just to tap in some little, just what would be little flowers, I guess. You can just do that singly on the, with the pink, or basically fuchsia is what it's called, and just, you know, tip in like that. Or if you want, and I'll show you here in a second, just make sure it's loaded well because then you're going to have, you know, somewhere it doesn't, it doesn't uh, cover. Then we'll go through here, do the same thing. So we have some of it showing over here. Kind of have a balance. Again, some of these are a little thicker. You don't have to make them as thick as what I did over here. And you can actually touch them on to the stem itself, just making it like it's, you know, coming to attached to that stem. But then you can go over it with the autumn leaf if you want. Just throw another color in there. Remember there's a lot of a lot of tips when you're painting on glass. Just make sure you clean it well. If you're going to bake it, dry it, give it some air drying time, about an hour prior to bake, or at least an hour before you bake it. If you want to allow it to sit Overnight, that's fine, or longer, that's fine too. There's not really a maximum air dry. It does automatically cure fully on its own within 21 days. So if you don't dry it like that, or you don't you know, cure it by baking, it'll automatically cure just by air drying. Now the last thing I'm going to do is just put in a center and I can do it either way. I can pull it down or I can pull it away. On this, I'm going to probably do it a little mixture here because there is a little opening in the center, which is fine. That was intentional with the design. If you want to pounce in a center, you can, or you can just do a crazy little center like this, which is very easy. You know, take your liner brush and just put it in here and pull. Just some, do some quick little pulls with it and that fills it in. Come down here and do the same. And you just you take your brush and just keep pulling till you get it filled where you like it. And is it going to pull in some of the other color that's wet? Yes, it will. If you don't like that, then what do you do? You give it some drying time. Pretty simple. And if you really don't like your like your design, then you know what you do? You rinse it off and you start again. Simple, simple. 
All right. The only one thing I look here, and I don't think I did, which I don't have to, but on this little piece over here, I would have typically pulled in something down. Or you could do multiples, but I'm just going to leave it like that. I like it. I think it's pretty. Hope you like it too. Once again, very simple, quick, make great gifts, a great way to recycle, turn some trash into treasure so it's not in a uh, dump someplace, just rotting away, and it's beautiful. Throw some lights inside of it. You have really easy lights that you can put inside these bottles now that look like a, a um, oh my gosh, bottle cork, and they're beautiful. Beautiful lights, night lights, calming lights, meditation lights, whatever you want them to be used for. They're awesome. Anyways, hope you like this. Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure you give me a thumb up, thumbs up if you do like the video. If you're new to my channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post something new. And last but not least, please share this on your social me media with your family and friends. Very simple, just hit that, that share button that's underneath the video and it'll give you the options. Share, share, share. I'd appreciate it. Thanks so much and until the next time, stay safe. Have a good one.